Hello fellow adventurers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and today that was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. We are continuing our adventure of I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. So get your supplies, get comfy. Let's go on this adventure. In last episode, some shit pretty much went off for, uh, a lot. Um, long story short. Can't fix that car. Can't fix that one. Okay. Long story short. Um. We meet Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? He sounded okay. Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah, Henry will know what to do. So, we got ourselves into some uh, drugs. And uh, getting into drugs is never a good thing. And now... We got our money back, which that's good, but Yo, Vito, how's it going? Hey Vito, just tell me what you need. Hey, you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Pick a color, any color. Thanks, Vito. I appreciate the business. Okay, so this car doesn't have as much pop as what I thought it thought it did. Fuck you! Fuck you! Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real. What the, what the fuck's fuck? going on? <laughs> Shit, that's Henry. What the fuck are they hitting him with? Oh, shit. He's dead. Something like this, Vito. Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Uh, the money's gone too. Get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dog, Wong. And your lips aren't even moving, bro. All the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking soup. Who taught you to drive? Not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So it is only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in, ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual. We got to do this the smart way. All right.
Yeah, see, now now we're getting to the, the end of the story, and now things are picking up. Remember, in uh, last week's episode, we also talked about a little bit about religion and all that good stuff. And you guys know my take on that. Again, comment down below on um, what mods do you think I have um, installed? Uh oh, we're starting to experience the frame drops. I thought I fixed it. Guess not. Hopefully it's just a one-time thing. A lot of texture popping though. Nah. It's already starting to... Well, we might have to deal with it with this episode. I don't know. I can't chase down the problem and we're almost done at least with the main game. And then there's like three DLCs that I'm gonna wanna play. We can either go to Harry so we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Gentlemen, this place for member only. Here's your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. Oh, you see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were at? Right down. They all been wasting these little fucks. Get the asshole behind the bar. Why you wasting it all? Watch out. They shoot me from up top. God, come on, game, keep up. Jesus. Fuck. That's it, Vito. Kill them all. Every last one. Oh, wait, Bozule. Take them out quick, Vito. Come on, Marco Polo. Watch out. Here comes more of them. Boy, my song. Come on, Vito. Move, for Christ's sake. All right, you go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks. Hey, you said we gotta do the spot, right? Where the hell is that prick? You gotta be around here somewhere. Let's keep going. Yeah, I can pick that up. All right, well, fuck you. Okay. Shh. Be quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Let's 
just sneak through here. Fucking this fucking game, come on. Hey gentlemen, fuck off. Alright, that was the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. Is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, 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 you saying Henry was a rat? Yes, but not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine, your choice. Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come Yeah, so we are. Ex you see this, guys? You see that? I thought I had it fixed. You seen how smooth? You seen how smooth the last episode went? Last week's episode, and all I do is start up the game and, you know, start playing, and this is what happens. I didn't change a dang thing. Since last week. 
That's last week's episode anyway, so I don't know. I think this game's poorly optimized, to be honest. This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlos sent us, it'll mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first, let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. I'll call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sick of these freaking glitches too. Answer this phone. Vito, you ready? Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be in your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. I don't have my freaking fancy suit, so let's bring you the pinstrip suit for now. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Right. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture. Of him. What does this guy do? It says here he ratted his family out to the fence. No, you the guy's got to come from that. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? Or if he still is. Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job, so it's more than worth the risk. Have you say so? Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. Yeah, hold on. I gotta spend some of my money real quick. And just like that. It says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg full young. You get it? I am some kind of retard. Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Uh, Are you fucking blind or what? Came out of nowhere. He just walked right out in front of me. I couldn't, couldn't avoid him. So yeah, sorry for the frame stuttering guys, but 
You guys are experiencing what I'm experiencing with this game, so I'd say buy if you're gonna play this, buy this game super super cheap because of all the performance issues like that. And if you guys are saying, well, it could be your mods, well, no, uh, before I even installed the mods, it was already doing this. And I've tried all the workarounds for it, and it's still not, still not working. Remember what you gotta say? Yeah. All right. Here we go then. I need. Mean, well, we'll just lower your quality settings. I'm not gonna do that. It's not my fault the game's poorly optimized. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Whoa, I didn't expect that. It's not even the same model either. UK, can it be consistent? So now we're finding out what happened after. And it was just in the same time period as Mr. Angelo, Tommy. Can you shoot? You don't got a piece? Nothing? I wonder if you are supposed to escape or not. Don't bite the dust. Have her fucking mind. Right, go left, go left, go left, go left. Should be, I should have been looking at the dates, but that means Tommy was still alive while Vito and Joe are doing their thing. Hmm. It's a nice, cool, cool wraparound, I guess, you know. Again, it's a pretty cool thing, but I'm just I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. All right, good 
luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay, I'll see you later. You see this door? We got a ever revolving door. I'm not hoping we drive by the. So we sort of do. Okay, so I'm gonna head here and just deal with the revolving door for now. Get out of the way. So Mr. Salieri was in Lost Haven, right? And then he found out that Tommy was still alive. Whatever, because he, he was in prison. If I'm remembering Mafia correctly. As soon as we get into town, everything starts taking a shit. So it's all making sense. So, okay, the last few chapters, I'm quite enjoying. Afternoon, Vito. Can you fix the revolving door, please? And the frame rate. Vito, just tell me what you need. Repair the car. You see that amount? Hey, you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business. I say, don't you dare freaking crash on me. We should have used the same character model for Tommy. Thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. I 
Come on, frame rate, fix yourself. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. I know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here, and I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck, and if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did John. Now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you, broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. You don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next 10 minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't you? Ah, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the were things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Come on, shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. Eh, should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Crazy Follow me, guys. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Fuck you, let's go, come on. You're gonna die here, Vito! Just like you thought! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna feed you to the rats! Thank you, bastard. Where. Get up there. Get up there for the freaking game. You know what? Go through it. I don't care. You know what? Shut the fuck up. I spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then 
I find out I'm following his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. I just found Derek's retirement funds. Now I just gotta grab Joe and we can hit the Bunos. Oh shit, I meant to go out the front door. Fucking take this way out. Can you stop game, please? Where we did it in self defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help you all. Door's still glitched. Okay. Can't really fit through there anymore. Game, please work with me. I'm getting really freaking frustrated. Stop. It's nice to finally start knowing the truth about stuff. You guys want to know, this is like one of the worst games performance wise I've ever experienced. For those who say, you know, like to lower my quality, I, I, like I said, those, that's, that was one of the workarounds and I tried that, still the same exact thing. So, but it looks like we're going to get a lot of mafia this year. If I can put up with this, um, we'll see how the, we'll see how the DLC goes. And if DLC is the same situation, I might not complete it. Because this, it, I'm sure it's not a very good viewable or viewing experience. And to me, it's not even a good gaming experience was kind of, it, 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 you know oh, see like that Joe wasn't home at first I thought he was just running a little late so I went to grab something to eat two hours later Joe still wasn't home it was getting dark and I was getting worried I had to go look for him Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. All right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. We're gonna probably hopefully conclude this chapter and chapter 15 and be done with the uh, Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, at least for the regular story. Like I said, I will try to play the DLCs and see, you know, record an episode, see how that goes. Um, if it's still doing the same thing, 
I'm not guaranteeing that you guys are going to be continuing to see Mafia 2. Um, we might move on to Mafia 3, so... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And leave your comments down below what you guys want to see or how to fix this freaking game. Because I've had it. Um, anyways, um, please hit that like and subscribe button. And um, I'll see you guys on our next adventure. Oh,